Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Another phone call video. So the, f oh, I finally got the dates. I got the list of the dates of the phone calls. So I will put them up on each phone call. So the first phone call is actually going to be with Trish. So she's heading to Michigan to go to the trial, to Shonda's trial. She's with Eric. So she's talking to Paul and for like the first part of the uh, phone call, he doesn't even know that she's coming like he knows she's in the car but he doesn't realize that she's come she's gonna be going to the trial so when she tells him he sounds really scared and nervous he's like what you're going to the trial and i think the reason he sounds really scared and nervous is because he's he knows that they're they are going to see everything they're going to see his part in it and they're not going to be happy when they see you know how much of a part he really did have in it so i think he's scared for them to see that but no this is a really interesting call a really good call I think it's an important call. It does verify the stuff that the family member told me to tell you the other day on the live when, you know, I went over all that stuff. It verifies some of that stuff. Just uh, really listen. I mean, she uh, talks about all that they had to do is tell her that they couldn't handle Timothy and she would have taken him back home. She clearly says that to Paul. You hear her say, you know, all you had to do is tell me that you couldn't handle Timothy and we would have taken him back in a heartbeat. And she also talks about that phone call that I told you about. She asked Shonda and Paul, because Timothy sounded a little off and tired, is everything okay? And they told her, oh yeah, he's fine. He just woke up. He's just tired. Well, she actually goes into a, even a little bit more detail of what they said about him. But I'll let you listen for yourself. All right, so here it is. Hello, this is a collect call from Paul Ferguson. An incarcerated individual at Muskegon County Jail. This call is not private. It will be recorded and may be monitored. If you believe this should be a private call, please hang up and follow facility instructions to register this number as a private number. To consent to this recorded call, press 1. To discuss, thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. Hi, Mama. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing. You driving? Yep. <laughs> uh, workman busy? Yes, extremely. Sorry? Yes, extremely. Ah. Uh, no. Shonda's jury trial starts Tuesday. Yep. I'm not sure if Nolan was able to pass on the information, but um, I talked to the prosecutors and whatnot the other day. So, you know. Ran through a run through of everything. What are what like what? Uh, questions and whatnot, and uh, I think they said it's either going to be. I think they said the thirteenth or the fourteenth. I want to say the fourteenth that I'll be testifying. Because okay. for because let's see, the twelfth they have to actually pick the jury. The thirteenth is probably going to be mainly. Um, Officers and whatnot. You said what? The twelfth they pick the jury. Yeah, the twelfth they pick the jury. That's what they said, I believe. Okay. I, I I might be a bit off about that. They might be picking it tomorrow. I don't honestly know. This place I was proves. Told it on the 12th, so I don't know. Yeah, they, they might be picking it tomorrow, and I'm just not aware. Or they told me and. My memory is faulty because of this dead gum place. Okay. How's your back feeling, Mama? Uh, it still hurts, but not nearly as bad. Well, I'm glad you're at least feeling better. I'm sorry you're still in pain. Okay. I also asked if once Shonda's stuff has finally, the trial and whatnot have finally concluded where I'll be at. And they said that I um, think late January, early February, everything should finish up. Okay. So. Uh, Do you know what sentence they're pushing for Shonda? Do what? Do you know what sentence they're pushing for Shonda to have? Uh, 
No, I should have asked. Um, I could probably ask my attorney on twelfth um, or whatnot. I, I, can, I know that they're probably going through life, but I know that there's also the office of life without parole, and I didn't know if they were going to that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they, they may be. They yeah, natural life, not just you know twenty five years or whatnot, but natural life yep. the rest of. Yep. I'm. I don't normally condemn people. I try not to anyway, but I'm hoping as well. I don't want her on the outs where she can never hurt anyone again. Prosecutor was honest with me. He said, you know, he's upset with me, obviously, because I was in the wrong as well. But uh, he's, uh, he's obviously, you know, Upset, that, upset with me, which is natural because I too was in the wrong. But he's also, you know, he's, I guess, proud or impressed or whatnot that you know I'm taking a different path than she is and accepting responsibility for my mistake. The prosecutor. Okay, I missed the first part of it. Sorry. Yeah. No. 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 You're good. You're <laughs> you're driving. I can understand. I love. Well, I do. But I can't lie. I'm I'm angry with you too. And I understand I, that. I'm not me, but I am very angry with you at times. Yes, I know. I accept full responsibility for what I did. I have no excuse. No excuse in the world can possibly justify. I do. I do love you. You're my son. You'll always be my son. Yes, but I know I'm that. Like, I'm so mad at you. I can't talk to you. I don't want to hurt you. I know. I know. And your honesty is... It's good to know that people hold this against me because I still hold it against myself. And I have a feeling I'm going to for a while. But... Can when I the ask time comes... You said what? Can I ask you to stop saying one thing? Yeah. You say I can't wait for this to be over. That makes me angry because it's not going to be over. It's going to be gone. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Okay, I just wanted to say I love the fact that she said that because every time he says that, I think the same thing. I'm like thinking, what do you mean? It's never going to be over. Timothy's dead. It's not. It's not something that's going to be oh over because your punishment's done. You know. It did. It drove me crazy every time he said that. And I always wondered if whoever he was talking to was thinking, like, I wonder if they're thinking, what the heck? Yeah, over for it'll be over for you, but what about for Timothy, you know? Okay, back to the call. I mean, I'm not trying to hurt the best that they can do. No, no. I'm not... I'm not... I'm not upset. I'm not hurt. I'm glad you were honest. I never realized it like that. I'm so, so sorry. Okay. And you have every right to be angry for, for me for that, Mama. I love you. Please don't think I don't love you. I do. I know. I know. I know you love me. Even if sometimes I feel unworthy of it. I know. And I love you, too. And I'm ashamed. And I want things to be better. I think that's the first time you've ever said that to me. I love you so much. Uh, I think that's the first time I've ever heard any support from you for your part in it. That you weren't thinking about you, that you were thinking about him and what happened. And that makes that lessen my anger some. I love you. I love you too. I do. I see. I don't want to upset you. I'm just going to hurt you. I know. No, no. It's, it's not you. It's. I suppose it's just I've had so many emotions that I've closed off of it. After all the time, it's just hard when they finally burst. Do what? 
We'll get through it somehow. Yeah, I know. Uh, I hope that we can at least find justice for Timothy. I want that more than anything in this world. Me as well. How much do you have to do with tell me I can't do this? You said what? All Shonda had to do was tell me she couldn't do this. Yes, and all I'd had to say was... I should take it back in a heartbeat. You know that. I'm sorry, just the wind and background noise here. I couldn't catch all of that. I said that um, all she had to do was tell me that she couldn't handle it. And you would have got it back home. You would have got it back home. Yeah. And all I would have had to do during all of, before all of this had happened and it was too late was let you know what was going on and you would have taken care of him and I didn't, yeah, and that is entirely I my fault. The police, I would have called DHS, I would have called whoever I needed to to get him out. And that is entirely my fault for not doing so. I feel like I can apologize as many times as I want, but it will never be enough. He had so much life ahead of him. And it's partially because of me that it will never happen. And what that is true. It worked with my to him. And I know that he could be annoying. And I know he could be trying and difficult and stubborn. But it wasn't intentional on his part to be stubborn. I know. I wish I had realized that so much sooner. Realized that there was help out there. He's not pissing his brain doesn't work like everybody else. Of course. I know. I know. Just as much as he didn't understand us, we didn't understand him. You know, I mean, he didn't understand us either. He didn't get how we did the way we did. And the thought process, because he wasn't with those thought processes. What's worse is Shonda, of all people, didn't understand. I'm pretty sure lawyers have to take psychology. If you go to college, you have to take psychology. Yeah. It's required. Yeah. So, I don't, I don't get any of this. And I'm sad and I'm angry and then I feel guilty for being angry at you. And don't. Don't feel guilty, Mama. Because you have every right. Well, I should have I done something. I wish you had. I wish more than anything you had. As do I. Right now, I, I suppose... I told you all before I left for Florida and y'all said everything's fine. You don't tell me that... Timothy wasn't talking because he had just woken up and his voice was worse. But that wasn't the case. He was so weak he couldn't talk. I know. I know. And I feel terrible. I do. But right now, I suppose the only thing I really have been trying to do is focus on the present and not look back at it all. Okay, this is the last conversation I had. Was you guys telling me that he wasn't talking because he's just woken up and he, his voice was worse because he's been snoring. And that was completely believable because Timothy was disoriented when he woke up. And he snored. And I believed it. And I'm mad at myself that I believed that. And I have no excuse for lying to you. I have no excuse for any of this. I'm on my way to Michigan now. 
You're, you're coming up here? Yes, I'm coming for her trial. Oh, God. I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't know that. <sighs> yep. I will be in the courtroom when you're there. Okay. I'm almost to Nashville. I'm about halfway, well, a little over halfway there. Is, uh, is Dad going to be here? He's not coming to the trial. Okay. I'm I'm driving, and I will be there for Mom, because this is not going to be an easy thing. Of course. But I will be there in Portland every single day. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I'm uh. sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, nobody, nobody told me. <laughs> Been in the car since about seven thirty this morning. Nice. <sighs> Even if we can't talk a little, a little. You have one minute left. Circumstances, it'll be nice to at least see you guys. Yeah. Yeah. But no. I'd better, I'd better let you guys go. I don't want this thing to hang up before I get to tell you I love you and I miss I you. you. I miss you and you hang in there. I'll see you soon. I love, love you. you soon. Love you too, Dad. All right. Bye, baby. Bye. Okay, so this next call is with Nolan. And actually, he's talking to Paul when Paul is getting ready to go to Shonda's trial. So he's waiting for them to get him to go to Shonda's trial. So that's kind of interesting. Okay, here it is. Hello, this is a collect call from Paul Ferguson. An incarcerated individual at Muskegon County Jail. This call is not private. It will be recorded and may be monitored. If you believe this should be a private call, please hang up and follow facility instructions to register this number as a private number. To consent to this recorded call, press 1. Thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. Hey, no one. So, yeah, apparently at 5.30, one of the dudes heard Shonda's name on the radio at mm-hmm. 5.30, 6 o'clock. So, yeah, they've probably been uh, getting ready for this for quite a while. Yeah. I have a subpoenaed for 8.45, but it's, what, almost 9.30 now? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, things are backed up. Yeah. Right. Just take deep breaths, everything. Oh, I said, take deep breaths, everything's going to be okay. Yep. Talked to my lawyer um, again yesterday, as I said, on the text. And um, mm-hmm. he also let me see a picture of Gabriel from his ninth birthday. Nice. Yes, he has a uh, cake in the shape of a Minecraft pig's head. It was a oh, that is cute. Yep. Took a second because it was upside down for me in the picture. It's like, uh, hang on. Oh. Uh, but. Uh. Did you get to? See mom and dad or just talk to them? Uh, neither yet. Hope you get to see him. I'm sure mom would love to give you a hug. Yeah, I'd love to give her a hug as well. Uh, I talked to them the other day. That was when I, when I texted you. That was after I'd found out that they were uh, coming up here. Mm-hmm. Funniest thing is, I didn't even know that uh, dad was the one driving until... He spoke up around the end of the call. It's like, oh, hi. <laughs> hmm Yeah. But I'm at least glad that, you know, mom was honest with me about things. Yeah. She was obviously upset that I hadn't done anything to stop it. Well, that's not important now. There's nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing to say to get to do anything about it. But, yep. 
she also told me that apparently it upsets her when I say that I hope all of this is over, which I guess to her it almost sounds like I'm trying to shirk responsibility again, which I can understand. So, but you enjoying your week off? Yeah, it's been it's been great so far. Yeah. I, I don't think I've heard you too often with sleep still in your voice. Yeah, I'm sleeping in a little bit. Yeah, I'll bet. <laughs> uh, you normally have to get up at what, four or five? No, not that early. It's just that I work late into the night. I usually have to get up between 7.30 and 8 and then go work and then be home at like in between 10 and sometimes after midnight. Yikes. Uh, so how's the job search going? Um, I see. That reminds me, I need to check my email. It's going. Yep. Uh, so, to be honest, I actually don't know if the money that was put on commissary was, um, Grandpa Vander Ark's. It might have been Mom and Dad. Because no more has been dropped of the 350 that he's going to get for the frickin' bikes and whatnot. But right. all my other texts about the um, personal belongings, right? Yeah. Yeah, that'll be all right, won't it? With you, as long as it's okay with them? Yeah, how are they sending it to me? Um, I think... Uh, Grandpa's gonna mail it. Grandpa Vander okay. gonna mail it, but I'm gonna see about talking to my lawyer today because an idea popped into my head. I was thinking, since you know, after all of this, mom and dad will probably drop by to see you when all this is uh, concluded. Mm-hmm. I figured I could have him just give the stuff to them. And they could bring it to you for safekeeping. So, uh, I just hope that'll be okay with them. Yeah. Well, in fact, yeah, I'll respond to it. You said what? Oh, nothing. I got it. I have an email I need to respond to. You reminded me. But I messaged the guy about about um a job. Yeah. Uh, no. Will you uh be able to drop money this week? Uh yeah, I can drop money this week. Okay. Yeah. Oh. What? No, I'm looking into it right now, actually. Ah. So you don't know what time they're going to call you? They were supposed to call you already? Yeah, 8.45 a.m. I woke up at like 7.40. Yeah. Couldn't go back to sleep. My body was just wired. <laughs> Why? Brush my teeth, put on deodorant, comb my hair. You know. Uh, you know. uh, have you uh, found, managed to find the where Shonda's? Uh, Court is being live streamed or anything? Yes. Yes? Okay. Uh, so, did I tell you that um, at the moment the charge is open mo- open murder? Yes. And uh, this is going to be, this is going to decide whether it's first, second, third, or manslaughter. Yeah, I know. Which, obviously, we're going to, we're hoping that they're pushing for first degree so that yeah. Life with that instant life without parole. 
basically yeah, but you need life. to you need to worry about you and not not her. Yep, yep. Sorry, like I said, stressing. <laughs> I know, but just focus on what you got to worry about. Yep. So, uh, when did uh, mom and dad tell you that they were heading up here for court? Um, and, uh, long before or after I said something? She had mentioned going up for it a while back, but then it, it got moved. It slipped your mind? And, well, it got moved. And then, like the date, and then... We both assumed that they weren't actually going to have it here in December, so we didn't really talk about it. And then, not long ago, I guess she found out they weren't going to move it and decided to come up. Yep. Yep. Uh, um, apparently, one of the dudes in here sat for like five hours in the holding area waiting to go to court because of all this. That's crazy. Yeah. I told him, I can't apologize for my biological mother's idiocy. I can only apologize for the inconvenience she's causing. Right. Mm. Well, yeah. So, Gabriel's in third grade. I think he's in public school now. I I don't know. if I, I think Stephen's going to be there in court. My lawyer said he saw him yesterday. Mm-hmm. So... You know, maybe I'll ask how Gabriel's doing at least if I can. Right. Okay. But I do hope that I can talk to him. I need to figure out what I'm going to send him for uh, Christmas. I think he has enough Legos at this point. <laughs> yeah, that's what Steve said. Mm. Um, he likes uh, battle bots. But I, I, he has a good amount of the, to- the figures that we got last Christmas. Yeah, I need to figure out. He, Steve said to get him something space themed or a book or something. Yeah, but I'm not. I'm not sure what exactly to get him. Space a telescope. <laughs> I don't know. I think he might still be a little young to use a telescope. Yeah, no. the scar from when uh, Jim and I bit him last year is healed. Thank God. Right. The lighting made one of his eyes look puffy, but it was you know just the lighting. He looked you know, good otherwise. Mm, happy. Um, it's not letting me. Let me try. What's going on? Uh, um, it's not letting me add money to your commissary. Hmm. That's all it says the maximum you can deposit is zero dollars. I wonder if it's... I'm not sure. I'll close it and try it again in a few minutes. Yep, yep. Uh, um. Uh, uh, Shonda is going to testify. I think that was obviously a no-brainer. I keep switching topics, but anyway. uh, I think that they said that they're going to play the audio from the camera in the closet that was... caught the conversation, which very clearly states, points out that, you know, a lot of the bulls she was spitting. So, I miss you. I miss you too, buddy. Have you uh, managed to figure out the uh, video call? Um, no, and I can't even get into it right now. 
because it won't let me add commissary. Uh, well, let me. No, how can you do that? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I can't, I put this in the middle and can't put this in the middle of the day. Yes, yes. Remember, I just wrote down on my head that I did. Remember last time, he took out 500 without me knowing. Well, he told me he did a good supper. Uh, and took out by hungry, and that kind of screwed me on being back alone. Because he got there before I did. He was alone, so. Yeah. All right, so. Mm-hmm. Do you think it's some point? You have one minute left. Jeez. Uh, you said what? I said I'm looking into the video thing right now. I don't see Muskegon County on here, but I'll try and figure it out, okay? Okay, but I love you, and I miss you. I love you too, buddy. Good luck today, and just just listen to your lawyer and talk slow, and yep. be careful, okay? Okay. All right. I'll I love you, buddy. You soon, bro. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. The caller has hung up. Okay, so this next one is going to be with Trish again. It's a really good one again. She's telling him basically that he needs to find himself and, and he kind of talks about how like he doesn't know who he is and I don't know. You'll see. Oh, and one more thing. He reads the letter from Christopher Trent. So you remember that documentarian or <laughs> that guy that works for, uh, well, he said he worked for HBO and he has, I think it's Tallow Films. I still can't understand what the word they're saying that he works for. But anyway, he reads the email to Trish and so I was able to actually hear what name he says. I'm talking about Paul is reading it to Trish to see what she thinks. So it's Christopher Trent. So I looked up Christopher Trent and he is in films and he does do stuff for uh, HBO. So I'm guessing he... Just maybe his job. Oh, yeah, he's a producer. He's a producer, and it seems like he's behind the camera, right? So he's not the one usually interviewing, it doesn't seem like. So that probably is why he's not the best interviewer, because not everybody is a good interviewer. That's just definitely a skill. So he that's probably not his skill, what he does. I don't know why they had him call Paul or get a hold of Paul, but he's usually like the producer. This is like producer, camera, and electrical department. The sound department. I don't know. You could look them up. Check it out. All right. Here's the call. Hello. This is a collect call from... Call person. An incarcerated individual at Muskegon County Jail. This call is not private. It will be recorded and may be monitored. If you believe this should be a private call, please hang up and follow facility instructions to register this number as a private number. To consent to this recorded call, press 1. To disconnect, press 2. Thank you for using... Securus, you may start the conversation now. Hi, Mama. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How about you? It's Friday. It's Friday, yeah. <laughs> um, so, a couple things. First off, I had my, they did a psyche eval today. Mm-hmm. For the psyche eval. So, um, I'm not sure if Nolan or my lawyer has informed you yet, but sentencing is on the 26th of February. Yep. So they uh, didn't need to push it. February. Yeah, it was over. It was the 29th of January that they pushed it because they thought they'd need more time, but they didn't apparently. I don't think they're going to change it again now. Okay. Um, but secondly, I got basically an email. Um, earlier, and I wasn't aware of it until recently. Mm -hmm. I'm going to read it to you word for word here. It's from a guy named Christopher Trent. Hello from Talos Films. Hi, Paul. Hope you're doing well. My name is Chris Trent, and I'm reaching out to you because we are hoping to do, and we are developing an HBO documentary on your story, and would love to talk to you about your unfortunate experience. 
We really want to focus on your side of the story because we feel that you are a victim as well. If you are interesting in ta- interested in talking it over, please, please feel free to reply to my email and we'll get the ball rolling. You can always reach out to me via my cell phone as well. He proceeds to give me his number and then signs off and everything. I don't think right now that would be a wise decision. Okay. Okay. I really don't. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, you're in your mind, you're happy to have somebody who wants to hear your side that's not judging you, that doesn't blame you, and that makes you feel better. I want to, but at the same time, I know I'm guilty, Mom. I know I am. I can't hide it. But what I'm saying is there are so many people out there that would take advantage of and twist and turn anything you say. Yeah. And I just don't think that would be the best. You can talk to no one about it, but that's my two cents. I don't think it's a wise choice. Yeah, yeah, Yeah. of course. I I think even without me, they're going to develop this story. Do what? I think even without, you know, me, they're probably going to do some sort of documentary. Yeah. (laughs) They will, probably. Mm -hmm. Uh, How's Dad doing? He's doing okay. Nope, that's good. Mm, how about Noelle? <laughs> She's ornery. Ornery. Uh, uh, has the work been busy this week for you? Do what? Has the work been busy this week? Oh my God, yes. <laughs> no. Not working too hard though, right? Uh, uh, I'm working 10 or 11 hours a day. Mama. Hey, honey, I'm doing the job with two people right now. Uh, I talked to Nolan over the phone the other day and just about hung up on him when my bunkie slipped on face planted. Mm-hmm. You have to go to the hospital and get stitches. He's all right now, though. Good. Jericho. What? <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> I hear you laughing, Mama. No, I wasn't. I thought I heard something. Sorry. No, that's okay. That's been- I keep saying I'm going to do things on the weekend but all I do is sleep to catch up to what I missed during the week (laughs) I I understand what that feels like Mm -hmm. no one said he's one of the things he's slightly looking forward to is when he comes up here, maybe not the whole thing with Shonda, but the fact that he's going to get to, you know, see what is what a Michigan winter is like. Uh huh. I I told him, yeah, we've got like snow drifts outside. They're like six feet deep. There's snow banks. Yeah, yeah. It's cold even here in Florida. I mean, we were down in the thirties. Oh, wow, the thirties in Florida. Yeah, in Jeez. Florida. Yeah. Uh, you need to work on yourself, okay? Find out who you are. Yep. Yep. I know, Mom. So much of who you were on her view of you. Yeah. Yeah. But 
most teenagers do. Yeah. I guess most of the time. I know who I am. Yeah. I guess most of the time I just... Sorry, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry to say, especially now that I, I'm not... All my kids are grown. I'm. That's who I was. I was mom. <laughs> Still our mom. Just because we're all grown up doesn't mean we'll ever never ever see you as anything different, Mama. Your Mama. And we all love you. And we know you love us even when we drive you crazy. <laughs> yes, always did, always will. Uh, what I was saying was I guess I've always just tried, or up here anyway, I've tried to fit into some sort of mold, like trying to fit the square peg in the round hole. I think you always tried to be who the person you were around wanted you to be. Yeah. When you were at school, you tried to fit in with the kids there. Yeah. I think you just wanted to be accepted. I don't know that you've ever felt accepted. No, I never really did. Except by you, of course. Sometimes even, I didn't feel accepted even by dad. And I'm not trying to be harsh. I'm trying to be honest. I know. know. Honesty is good. I've always, what did I always tell you? You always get more trouble for lying than being honest. Yep, and your feelings are your feelings. There's nothing wrong with how you feel. It's your actions that make it right or wrong. Yeah. Mm. So. I even, if y'all remember, I always told y'all, y'all can tell me you're mad at me. You can tell me you don't like me right now. Yeah. Fine. Yep. Because there were times I didn't like y'all. I liked you, but I didn't <laughs> like you. Yep, yep. I remember. But it's what you do with your actions that yeah. make your feelings right or wrong. It's okay to be yep. mad at people. It's okay to be angry. It's okay to be sad. Yeah. It's when you take it out on other people that make it right or wrong. Yep. I suppose one of the other things I've wanted practically all my life was, I don't know, some sense of grand accomplishment, being something amazing. Yeah, you're young. I mean, <laughs> I know I mean, I'm 51 now, and I look back and think, gosh, I wanted to be something. I wanted to make a difference in the world. Mama, you did make a difference. You know what I mean, though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you think about it, Doilio was a big change in things before it went downhill. And none of that was your fault. No. You managed, you, you handled what? How many kids? A lot. <laughs> I think that you're amazing, Mama. Please keep find your way back to God, okay? Try anyways. Yeah, yeah. I know it's funny. It really isn't. Especially when I don't feel worthy of it. But see, I'm going to tell you what somebody told me 
that that God's a fisher of men. Yeah. And just when we go fishing, you you can't clean a fish till you catch it. Yeah. God can't clean you until you come to Him. Right. He doesn't expect perfection. Of course. But when you catch a fish, it's not already clean. Of course. So you don't have to be perfect and spotless when you come to God. Yeah. Let him clean you up. Right. Just two cents. I'm not trying to push God on you guys, but... Yeah, yeah. Uh, Do you have a Bible? Uh, uh, no, unfortunately. I could probably ask the chaplain for one. Get one and start in Philippians. It's a good chapter. Okay. I really also need to claim that path of self-discovery, too. So I know you've got a tablet, right? Yeah. You can access. Yeah. Start by researching. You know, how do you find yourself and start doing the steps that they suggest? Yeah. To be honest, these tablets are, well, they're not the best. There's not a lot of functionality, but I can probably figure something out. You have one minute left. The Pando app, which is like, it's got all sorts of sermons and stuff like that on it. I can probably find something there. But I love you, and I miss you. I don't want this thing to hang up on me before I get to tell you that. Okay. Hang in there. I love you. I love you, too. To that I said I love him and I miss him. Love you. Love you, Dad. Bye, Mama. Hi, baby. I'll talk. Hello. This is a collect call from... Paul Ferguson. An incarcerated individual at Muskegon County Jail. This call is not private. It will be recorded and may be monitored. If you believe this should be a private call, please hang up and follow facility instructions to register this number as a private number. To consent to this recorded call, press 1. To just thank you for using Securus. You must start the conversation now. Hey, bro. How are you doing? I'm all right. You, everything okay? It's kind of loud in there. Sorry, what? Did I got people talking in my ears. No, that's what I was saying. I was saying, is everything okay? It's kind of loud in there. Yeah, yeah, I got people chit chatting with each other. Uh, oh, okay. They're chit chatting with each other and it's kind of it's throwing off my hearing. You're good, bud. <sighs> How you doing? I'm all right. Hanging in there, I suppose. Yeah, tomorrow's my last day at my now, current right? job. Uh, tomorrow's my last day at oh. the one job, and then next week I start the new job. Gotcha. So, just taking How about a while. You, how yeah. uh, I'm completely okay with it, but commentary is likely going to be late, or by the point, by which time you can get me more, it's going. I'm going to be in prison, which you know. Like I said, I'm okay with it. I'm not going to push at your money and. Sorry, say it one more time. You're kind of. Uh, yeah. 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 There we go. Uh, so I'm guessing due to the job moving uh, commissary next week is likely going to be a no go. It's it's fine. I have uh, the guy that's co- that's contacted you. He's been nice enough to drop like 50 or so every week. So I haven't Randall, had to worry. Yeah. Randall. Um, I'll that's do what I can, but if, yeah, I'll do what I can. But if Randall's helping you, then that's probably for the best. Yeah. Hey, if you need to use your first paycheck or so to. You know, do stuff at the house, build and whatnot. Take care of you first, bro. 
I've got I appreciate it, but I'll let you know. Yep. Mm-hmm. We'll probably uh I'll probably ask when well not next week, but ask the next time if there is at this point. Uh if we can't say for certain. Uh but doing she's doing well she's still enjoying her easier job as as much of a pay cut as it was she's happier which is what's important yeah so you're both got new jobs that's cool i was working yeah it's it's basically. Basically. Job. i'm getting a whole new job uh, did i tell you that one of the people who first wrote me a postcard, uh, she's now uh, um, texting with me. She's a, she's not a bad person, let me tell you that much. Well, you no offense, but you wouldn't know, but continue. Uh, she's, uh, I'm not sure if I told you this. Let me grab the postcard that's got all the info that she gave me on it. Um, she is a, she says, she is 65 and old. She literally said that. Um, she worked as an in the department. She's uh, retired now. She has three adult children, 42, 33, and 32. No grandkids yet. Um, she has a Harley motorcycle and rides it a lot. She has a German Shepherd retriever mix and a boxer pit bull. Right. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I told you this, but when I had the random uh, money uh, get in, go into my commissary account uh, back in I don't know first week or so of December, that was that was her. Oh, nice. So real quick, I just want to say I thought she heard about Paul because she saw the trial and then she reached out. But it, if she already gave him money the first week in December. That would have been before the trial. So she must have just seen it. Oh, because she's local. So she would have seen it on her news and must have looked into it and then got a hold of him before Shonda's trial. Okay. So I wonder, Randy, I'm not sure, did Randy get a hold of him before the trial too? I know he said he watched the trial, but wonder if he had got a hold of him before. Well, now that I have the dates, I could go back through and see if he ever contacted him before the trial. I'll let you know. Yes, she's been she's been very kind. That's good. Just anybody who's just because someone says you come and say money, don't stop keeping your guard up from people. Of don't course. trust anyone. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. your name and face have been on TV as well as mine, and so we can't trust anyone. Yeah. Uh, couldn't you have asked they not put your face on TV though? Uh, I'm I'm not sure. Maybe, but I didn't bother. Yeah. <laughs> no, he didn't notice. You doing okay? Yep. Mm. Have you heard anything from your lawyer? Uh, not yet. No, we had the one psych eval a little a couple of weeks back. Now we're waiting for a second one to get a second opinion. Okay. I would hope he would put a little bit more emphasis on it. Randall has apparently tried to contact him and been unsuccessful. Yeah, uh, I think Joanne, the woman I've been talking to, has been too. They both also written letters to the judge and whatnot, judge and prosecutor. Do you know where Joanne lives? Um, hang on, let me look at the postcard again. Uh, Michigan. Interesting. Yeah. How many ends in Joanne? Um, hang on. Uh, two ends. And an E at the end. Joanne. She goes by Joe, though. Interesting. Yep. 
So we were uh, texting or talking the other day, and she looks at my YouTube channel, and, you know, my best series was, so the first one had like 13,000 views, and then the next three or so had under 10,000. But the last one blew my mind. It was 30,000 views. What was the name of your channel again? P. Fergie Plays? Yeah. 30,000. Like, wow. Which one has uh, this one? The Blind Bender series. How many? Is it still at 30,000 or is there more now? No, that's about what it's at. Yeah. And she told me that. And then she, I, yeah, I was blown away. <laughs> oh. um, did I tell you that my bunkie got the stitches removed that he'd had to get from when he fell off his bunk? No, but that's good. Yeah. I think he's still a little disoriented at times, though. contact with mom and dad and I haven't been able to get a hold of them. Uh, I talked to mom a little bit not long ago, but not much else. Yeah. I know you and dad aren't exactly on the best of terms. Yeah, we don't talk much. Mm-hmm. Uh, well. Anything interesting happening? No, sorry. I'm just tired. I get it. Mm. It's been a long time. Despite the fact that I've been in here for over 18 months now, I still remember what it was like to be tired. Exhausted from a hard day at work. Right. Uh, Even when you're not doing it anymore, you still remember it. Sure. Uh, So... Maybe now you have time to get a dog or something? I could. I don't know that I'm going to. It's more responsibility, yeah. not to mention being expensive, not to mention... Uh, I don't know how much Matt would handle it. Yeah. yeah. You, could, uh, you could try and get something that's, you know, from the panel, I guess. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I've learned that just because you still have to own it and maintain it, like, and again, yeah, I don't know how my yeah. cat is going to live. doesn't really like the cat. The cat doesn't really like you. Do what? I thought that you and the cat didn't really like each other. Oh, we don't. Not at all. But, I mean, he doesn't <laughs> dislike me as much as I dislike him, but... <laughs> Uh, just I, I'm in email contact with Randall now. We're talking over email, so I'll keep you updated yeah. on how that conversation goes. But just continue to have yeah. your guard up for now. Okay. Yep. Yep. You don't know what um, anyone really wants. And unfortunately, yeah. there's plenty of people out there who are not necessarily on your side. So, yeah. Um, I exploded a little bit the other day and bought uh, Elemental, the, you know that movie, right? Oh, yeah, that one. The newer Disney one. one. Yeah, it was. I still blink to certain parts, though. Like, how the heck does like fire what? and water touch without. Actually, the whole point, point actually, it was somewhat realistic in science. They touch by, um, uh, they like when, when they touch, it, creates, it boils the water and creates steam in between them, which creates a layer of safety. 
It's uh, actually so the that same reason better. that you could theoretically, you could put your hand in frying oil if you dip it in water first. If you dip your wa- hand in water and then put your hand in frying oil just for a second or two, not for long, but you yeah, know, as long as there was water on your hand, it would boil and create steam so that the oil doesn't burn you. Yeah, still not something I would, I'd want to try, though. Oh, no, I don't recommend it, <sighs> but it, it is somewhat based in science. I mean, it's a movie yeah. about a bunch of fictional creatures made from yeah. other things, so, you know, I don't know. Uh, I also watched The Little Mermaid. That was the newer one. Uh, mm-hmm. The original story was actually created by the dude who had the quote in the beginning, Hans Christian Andersen. Yeah. The original was nothing like the Disney adaptation. Wasn't just her voice that got removed, it was her tongue. <laughs> Most fantasies are grounded in much darker stories than Disney would portray. Yep. Yep. I mean, Milan was probably a little less crazy, a little more realistic, you know, dragons or whatnot. Right. Right. And the original fought through the entire war without being found out, and then actually showed it herself to, like, basically the three heroes of China, her three friends. Right. Yeah, but I still like Mushu. Yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear in the live action version they didn't have him. Yeah, don't don't I don't want to talk about it. It was terrible. I didn't like it. <laughs> None of the same songs, no Mushu, like all the things I loved. Right. Uh, but did uh, when you were here, did you and Millie get to converse at all? Yeah, we hung out a little bit. Yeah. Um, how's she doing in college? I, I get minor updates from mom and dad, but nothing too big. Um, they're, uh, she, they're, she's doing fine. Yeah. You have one minute left. <laughs> she's staying with, she has a close friend of hers, mom, that's kind of taken her in, um, during gotcha. the summer or she'll stay with, but otherwise she stays at, she sleeps in the, like she has a dorm at college. Yeah. Anyway, I'd better let you go before this stupid thing hangs up on me, but I just wanted to call and talk to you. All right, buddy. I love you. I love you too. I miss you. Let me know if you get any updates from uh, the core or from Randy. Yeah. Yeah. And also let me know the moment that uh, they ship Shonda out too. I mean, I don't know if I'll know that, but okay. Yeah, but I love you, and I'll talk to you soon, bro. Love you too. I'll talk to you soon, bud. Bye. Bye. Thank you for using Securus. Goodbye. Really, 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 really need your love. I'm begging you to be kind. I'm begging you.